Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation, and for today's episode, we are going to be going over the new Axel Plus banner that was that's within uh, Union Cross. Now, because of the fact that I know that I know, okay, I've, I've heard a lot of people already saying that it's meh, that I'm not gonna get it, blah, blah, blah. Because uh, there's actually a few things about the Axel Plus medal that some of you may not have realized, I think most of the community might not have realized either, uh, that I want to point out that Axel Plus is actually has some value in obtaining, okay? But first of all, before I do any of that, let me go ahead and explain what he does in the first place. Okay, so Axel Plus is a power reverse metal tier 8 AoE, costs 4 gauges, does 5 hits. Has a total max multiplier at 6 star of a 10.23 to a 14.25. And at 7 star, it's a 27.26 to a 31.28. And this is what his ability does. Okay, for 2 turns, he raises the reverse strength by 5 tiers, your power strength by 7 tiers, your lowers the target's reverse defense by 4 tiers, and power defense by 7 tiers, and raises your guilt bonus by 90%, doesn't affect enemy counters, deals more damage the higher the slot number. And the 7 star version of the ability is the exact same thing, um, except that the reverse buff is increased from 5 tiers to 7 tiers. All right, so now that we've gone over the metal itself, let's go ahead and talk about the metal and whether or not it's worth pulling for and obtaining. So for all of you out there, because I know there's a large majority of players out there who are kind of just saying, eh, it's meh, it's not that important, uh, I'll skip it, it's not that very good, blah, 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 okay? I kind of feel, at least from what I've seen through like Twitter and through within, within my own Discord and such, a lot of people are kind of having the same feelings about the metal as well as kind of using the same logic, okay? Um, but as far as I can tell, no one has really kind of noticed this, which is the fact that Axel Plus is actually the strongest uh, AoE metal within the game that affects counters. Now, for some of you, you might be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Brian, you're crazy. There's clearly some other better metals that have higher multipliers and such. That's still a fuck counters, okay? What are you talking about? Let me go ahead and show you real quick. So right now I'm going to go ahead and use khuxtracker.com to uh, make it easier to explain this. It gives a bit of, bit of a better visual representation, okay? So if we go ahead and we're going to sort the metals, okay, real quick. We're going to do by counter type. We're going to do AoE. Uh, we'll do... Well, why not? Yeah, no. We'll do seven star for now, okay? And we're gonna do we're gonna sort it by highest multipliers, okay? We're gonna hoard just these conditions. This is what we're gonna sort it by, okay? So if we sort it by this, we get this big list of metals that are AOE effect counters, uh, seven star, and are sorted according from highest to lowest multipliers. So technically. HD Sora and Kyrie EX has like the highest multiplier of a like 41.04, okay? But here's here's where the problem occurs. Most people are just looking at these top multipliers thinking that, oh, okay, all these metals like like the Fortels and such are just simply better than Axo Plus in terms of multipliers that affect counters, okay? And even if we go to the six star version, it's kind of a similar situation, except that um, Axel actually ends up going up a little bit, okay? But here's the problem that most people are not realizing, okay? Let's go back to seven star real quick. The thing that all of these metals right here have in common with each other, okay, is one very specific thing. And that is the fact that if you take a look at their damage conditions, it states that it only does more damage when there's one enemy left, okay? One or zero parts left, you know, for raid bosses and stuff, okay? Every single one of these metals have this condition. So, what does that mean? That means that technically, technically, even though a metal like HD Sword and Kyrie EX, for example, has a high multiplier of 41.04, when it's actually fighting a mob of enemies, so basically whenever it's not fighting one enemy, it's actually only using the low end of the multiplier, okay? So, what that actually means is that HD Sora and Kyrie EX, for example, has a multiplier of 28.08, all right? We take a look at Axo Plus, 
I know Rosie hasn't updated the image just yet, um, but Axo Plus does not have that condition. It's simply, it does more damage the higher the slot number. And you're gonna wanna use it towards the uh, last few slots of your Keyblade anyway. So it's gonna be near the max uh, multiplier of your metal of Axo Plus. So that means Axo Plus has a multiplier, a max multiplier of 31.28, which will be fairly easy to obtain compared to all these other metals who are only reaching the low end of their multiplier, okay? Even the prime illustrated Roxas, okay? Take a look at that. It has the same exact condition of only dealing uh, more damage when there's one enemy left, okay? Or zero parts for raid boss. So against the mob of enemies, it's only gonna have a multiplier of 23.85, okay? That's significantly lower than Axo Plus, who is a 31.28, okay? Same thing with prime Roxas and Shion. 23.85 okay axel's still higher at the 20 what was it 31.28 yeah 31.28 all the four tellers i believe have the same exact multipliers it's not it, it the low end is 25.44 so essentially what i'm just basically trying to show you is that axel plus literally is when actually used for aoe purposes which is kind of like the whole point of wanting to use axel in the first place because he's an aoe metal is the fact that he is the strongest AOE meta within the game that affects counters, okay? Now to just take it a step further as well, just, you know, because why not? Uh, some of the stuff I'll go into a little bit more detail in my meta analysis too. Uh, but if we just go ahead and just for purposes sake, let's look at just the power reverse metals. And let's take off enemy counters. We can see here as well that Axel Plus is still one of the strongest AOE medals for power reverse as well, okay? Uh, Sephiroth EX Plus is actually just barely higher than Axel Plus. It's at a 32.41, whereas Axel Plus is at a, a 31.28. So they're like literally right, they're like neck and neck, okay? Um, Staying Glass number four, sure, it has a higher multiplier, but it's only going to have that higher multiplier uh, towards the beginning of Keyblade, which is not where you're gonna want to put Axel in the first place So you can actually put stained glass number four and Axel plus within the same Keyblade if you really wanted to like Dark Knoll, for example um, And you'll be just fine. Musketeer Pete is Like the only actual AOE metal that has a higher multiplier, but you do need more gauges for him to be effective and stuff Okay, so realistically in terms of usage amongst the power reverse metals You're not gonna put you're not gonna be using the stained glass number four in the same type of scenarios as axle plus anyways Okay, so the only actual metals that are like are related to axle plus are going to be musketeer Pete If you really want to use him uh, Sephiroth the X plus and axle himself Okay, so axle plus within power reverse is like the third relevant strongest AOE metal in the game so another thing I want to talk about as well is the fact that uh, because of the fact he he has an effect that's very similar to Lexius Plus, okay? As we all know, Lexius Plus does more damage the higher is the slot number that he's in. We also know that he raises your uh, reverse strength by 7 tiers at the 7 star version. Um, and lowers the opponent's reverse defense by five tiers, okay? Axel Plus pretty much does the exact same thing as Lexius, except he also provides the power strength buff and debuffs as well. So in terms of ability, that's better. Um, what's even better as well is that Axel actually lasts for the whole turn, uh, for two turns, and not just for his own attack like Lexius. On top of the guilt buff, the plus 90% guilt buff does carry over into other turns, okay? So what does this mean? This, this basically means two things, essentially, okay? Um, first of all, in terms of PvP, this means that the plus 90% guilt buff, and this is actually going to be mostly relevant uh, for anybody who doesn't already have a Kyria Shion EX Plus, plus 90% guild buff is actually going to carry over into your next Keyblade. So if you're actually using your two strongest Keyblades back to back, one like right next to each other, you can actually get that plus 90% guild buff to carry over into your set into your next strongest Keyblade uh, within PvP. And that right there will help you be able to do extra damage, okay? Again, that's that's mostly relevant for people who don't have Kyrie Shoni X+, because if you happen to see uh, my videos regarding the Prime Mr. Incredibles, uh, you would see that the plus 90% honestly doesn't really do too much if you already have the plus 80% that Kyrie Shoni X Plus already provides you. Another thing that I want to point out as well is that because of the fact that he is AoE, uh, he does avoid counters as well as at the same time he has pretty much the same exact ability as Lexius Plus but 
better. What that means is the fact that you can actually now uh, go back and forth between using Lexians Plus uh, and Axo Plus because of the fact they're going to be used for completely different situations. Lexius Plus is better for single target type situations such as like PvP um, and depends on the Organization 13 event. But at the same time, the problem that Lexius Plus had was the fact that, well, he's single target. Any type of situation that like revolves counters or something uh, that has a mob of enemies, maybe like Colosseum, for example, you're gonna you can't really use Lexius Plus because he's single target. You need you need AOE, okay? And that's where you can use Axo Plus instead. Whenever you're not using Lexius Plus, you can use Axo Plus. So that means you can use Lexius Plus for single target situations and Axo Plus for AOE type of situations, okay? So after stating all of that, I do firmly believe that it is very worth getting Axo Plus mainly because of the fact that he is the strongest AoE meta within the game that avoids counters. The plus 90% guild buff for two turns is also a nice bonus as well for players like myself who don't have a Shion EX+, plus, um, but that just depends on you as a player, obviously. If you happen to not have enough jewels, though, to be able to pull for Axel+, plus, uh, I don't think it's the end of the world. Don't I wouldn't sweat about it too much. Just be aware that it's very possible now that he's come out that we might be coming across situations, more situations, as to say, in the future in which we would be required to fight mob of enemies that have counters on multiple of them, okay? In which case, you're going to, like, Axel Plus will be, like, heavily appreciated that you own. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, let me know what you think about the medal down in the comment section down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Probably going to be a metal analysis video or something. I don't know. But peace.